The rise in global crude oil prices has prompted East African country Kenya to reintroduce fuel subsidies to curb soaring prices of petrol. Well, in spite of Nigeria's rising inflation rates and cost of living, the Tinubu administration has repeatedly stated that there is no going back on the removal of fuel subsidy. This week, the media space has been populated by reports of another increase in petrol pump prices in coming weeks. This speculation is linked to a rise in the cost of a dollar to the Naira in the parallel market from 910 to 950 Naira, as well as rising crude oil prices globally. But in a swift reaction, Nigeria's oil company published on its social media that it has no intention to increase its petrol pump prices, as widely speculated. While the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, in an interview with Arise News, also reaffirmed NNPC's statement dispelling speculations of a price increase. We are not making any effort to increase price. We are still getting our product from NNPC, majorly. So, and this people are the people we look up to and they have come out clearly that they are not intending to increase price i think this will go a long way to dousing every tension ipman also re-emphasized the need to inculcate compressed natural gas as a cleaner alternative to fuel by the time we incorporate cng into our station that we've already built investment running over 10 trillion and people will be talking about where is our investment? We have done this thing over the years, and it's now that it will pay this country. Where okay. you co-locate this CNG you know, component and begin to use it rather than you know, leaving us. But what is the possibility of not having another increase considering the poor performance of the Naira against the dollar? This expert explains. So as the global price for fuel increases, that would also be reflected in our market. And of course, as the, um, the amount of money that we also need to use to buy the foreign currency, which is in dollars, um, would also be affected as the Nigeria's currency continues to weaken. Uh, so there are no um, easy fixes. Uh, there will be some time where we need to adjust um, to the pricing. As the nation continues to grapple with economic challenges and concerns over fuel affordability, Ipman's reassurance comes as a timely measure to alleviate the fears of Nigerian citizens who are eager to avoid any additional financial strain. Georgina Nukwezaika, Arise News.